Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the US KeyVision VMaster. This is a smartphone video microphone kit for vlogging. We're going to open it up, take a look at it, and then we're going to go check something out. We're going to go vlog a little bit and see how this thing performs in the real world. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look around the box here. And as we can see, it says smartphone video microphone kit for vlog. And this is the VMaster. And we can get an idea of what this is going to look like when it's fully assembled. So there's gonna be a number of different pieces that come with it. On this side, just a little bit of branding there. On the back side here, just a little bit of contact information and some QR codes where you can catch them on, uh, on their various socials and more branding, nothing on that side, and a little bit of branding on that side. So, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, and open this thing up. So let me, just, uh, let me just cut along this so we can actually get this open. And there we go, let's open that up. And let's see what this is going to look like. So let's see here, we have this, uh, have this little tab back there that we need to get open. And already, I like this already. Very nice. I love the fact that they included a case with this. This is absolutely wonderful. I love this because it makes it so easy to keep everything in one place. A little bit of branding on there. A little more branding than I like. I wish it was like nice and small just in the corner and not this big massive thing right there. But you know, it is what it is. Um, all right, here is everything that comes with it. And yeah, that is a lot in the case. There we go. Um, we're gonna get a service card and a quick start guide if we need that, so we'll set that over there. Um, first things first, we are going to get a mini tripod, and this, I think this is, now this is plastic, but it almost feels metal. It has a metal look to it. There's a little bit of carbon uh, fiber accenting on there. Um, it feels solid. Um, you also have this, right, I'm not exactly sure why this pushes up, but you do have, um, it looks like, oh, maybe this thing locks in, Let's see if we push that, oh yeah, there we go. So if this, once you push this, then you can spread the legs out even further there. And then once you put it like this, then it goes just to the regular height there. So, all right, so if you see that, all right. Anyways, we'll go to the next thing. So we have a ball head here, and this is actually, you know, I'll put it together as we go. So we have the ball head, and the ball head is going to have, uh, you know, various angles that you can use there, so. Um, that's going to work for however you need that. And it looks like there's even a quarter 20 thread on there so that you can mount something else. Oh, this is going to be for the light, I would imagine, so you can mount the light on there. So, all right, let's go ahead. We'll put that on right there. And you can see how it fits nice and flush with that. Very, very nice. Um, we also have the microphone here. The microphone feels solid. That feels metal. I like that a lot. So there we have that. We'll get that set up in a, in a minute once we get everything ready to go. Um, here is the um, here is the phone clip or the phone mount and look at that. I, I love how they do that. I've seen this before with US Key Vision. I love how they do that. So you have quarter 20 thread on the bottom, quarter 20 thread on the back. You have a uh, cold shoe on the top and to open it up, you just push the little red button and boom, just like that, it's, uh, it's ready to go. And you can push that again to uh, make it, you can always just push it in like that. But if you push that, then it goes in smoothly and you can make smooth adjustments and uh, get it just to wherever you need that. So you can see it's got some carbon fiber accents on there. This right here is cushioned so you don't mess your phone up at all. And yeah, all right, we'll get that. Uh, actually, I think this is gonna go right on top here. So let's see if we can get that, uh, see if we can get that going, all right. And we'll get all this stuff lined up perfectly after, uh, after we can. Uh, so we're also going to get here, it looks like uh, we, we are going to have a furry dead cat, a dead cat and a foam wind puff. So here we have a foam wind puff and a dead cat. And this actually feels like there's foam in it, so it doesn't, I don't think we're going to need a separate, um, a, uh, I don't think we're going to need to put the foam uh, wind puff on and then the dead cat. I think we can just put the uh, dead cat on. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that on there and pull that over there a little bit and get this thing, there we go. Let's see if we can get that locked all the way in there. So, all right, there we go. That's looking like it's on there pretty good. All right, so we'll set that right there 
and it looks like we're also going to get a video light with it. And they really, I tell you, this kit really came with a lot of stuff. So that's fantastic. So here is the video light. This is going to be the US Key Vision model W49S. Um, and it's gonna have a USB-C port. Very, very nice, I like that. We're also gonna get one, two, three cold shoe mounts on there so we can mount something else and a diffuser light that we can use to take this off. So it's gonna have sort of a double diffusion because there's already a diffuser on there and then we can use this as well. So, and then this is the power knob. So you can just simply turn that to turn that on. And as we can see, it doesn't look like there's any juice in there at all. So we're gonna have to get this thing uh, charged up and ready to go. Uh, we have a cold shoe mount on the bottom here and that is going to uh, also have a quarter 20 thread on there. So, all right. Let's uh, we'll go here, this one. This is going to be the, uh, this is gonna be the gooseneck that is going to allow us to mount the, uh, to mount the light on there. So um, as we saw that there is this, uh, there is this extra quarter 20 mount on the ball head there. So now we can go ahead and mount this right on there and we'll get this thing screwed on and see if we can get this all put together. So. Let's uh, let's get this going, and yeah, all right. So there we go, we still need to get this thing situated, and you can put it on either side if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, um, I'm gonna leave it on the left side there. And let's see, actually let's turn this around because I like to shoot with my back camera. So there we go, we'll get that. And now the light will mount right up here and we can go ahead and get this, actually, you know what, let's get that going, turn that around, and now we can mount this right on here, and let's see if I can get this unscrewed, and there we go. All right, let's get this, let's get that together, and you can, you can adjust that so it's out a little bit further there, and now we have that going, and let's see what else we have in here. I believe this is going to be the, um, I believe this is going to be the mounting, uh, the mounting stuff for the microphone. So we should have, there we go. Yep, so it looks like we're going to get the audio. Oh, this is gonna be a power cable for the light. So we have the USB-C to USB-A for the light. We have a, um, we have the, um, the suspension thing for the, for the microphone, the, uh, the shock mount for the microphone. Sorry, I was blanking on there for a second. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that. We're gonna get this mounted right in there. And let's see if we can get this thing in there. All right, I think that's, uh, I think we have it in there. I think I don't wanna mess anything up. Yep, all right, looks like that is in. Nice and firm, I think I got that in there. Let's see, I think I might have jammed something else in there but let's make sure it's all in there nicely. Oops, there we go. All right, there we go. Looks like it's in there. And so now I can mount this right onto the, um, right onto the cold shoe of the phone adapter, of the phone mount, oops. Let me see how this, get this thing in there. And there we go. All right, there we have that. And we are almost put together. So we have the thing coming together nicely. We're almost there. Um, yeah, let's finish it off. So um, now, oh, we also get a couple of extra bands in here. So if you notice on the, uh, the shock mount, they have these sort of rubber bands on here that help the suspension so it stays um, so it stays nice and absorbent of, um, of motion so that you don't end up with any noise on your microphone. So you have some extra bands in case you need those. Um, we also have an audio cable in here that is going to run from the microphone to your, uh, or the microphone to your, uh, phone. And it looks like we are going to have two different cables. So it looks like they're going to give us one that is TRS to TRS. This is going to run to your camera if you need to run it to a, directly to a camera. And then this is going to be, um, TRS to TRRS with the three lines so that you can uh, put this to a uh, to a cell phone. So, all right. Um, now, 
the one thing that it does not come with this kit is a is a uh, adapter. So if you have an Android phone like a Samsung phone that no longer has a headphone jack or an iPhone like I'm gonna be using, which is my, uh, my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which also does not have a, um, which also does not have a headphone jack, then you're gonna to have to use a lightning or USB-C adapter. And that and unfortunately does not come with it. I really wish that they included these adapters with the kit, but it does not. So, all right. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go grab an adapter. I'm gonna hook the phone up and then we'll take a look at what the whole kit looks like fully put together. All right, so here we have the kit fully put together. So we can see here we have the light with the gooseneck arm so that we can easily make adjustments and lower or raise that or face it down or face it up. We can do however we want with it. We have the microphone with the shock mount on there. We have the ball head, we have the phone clip, we have the mini tripod. We have everything that we need to start vlogging with it right away, except for the uh, the lightning to USB, or excuse me, the lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter. That was the only thing that we needed. And if you're running an Android device that also does not have a headphone jack, you're going to need a uh, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter uh, audio adapter as well. So yeah, all right. So anyways, um, now that we have it all put together, together and we can uh, see that we are ready to start vlogging with this let's go vlog with it all right so here I am outside walking and I have the full kit hooked up here and so yeah it's working nicely now I thought this thing was going to be a little bit off balance because of the light that is uh, off to the side with the gooseneck but as it turns out it actually is really quite nicely balanced so now there is one problem that I have with this and uh, that is that the dead cat is clearly in the frame. You can see that uh, the fuzzy dead, uh, fuzzy dead cat, the microphone, uh, you know, furry windscreen is in the frame. That is unacceptable. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that because the only other thing I can do is try and mount the microphone to the light. But if I don't want to use the, uh, the light, which I often won't do, then I have to worry about the uh, dead cat getting in my shot. So that's a big problem. And uh, I'll have to think about that and figure that out and decide if that's something that I can actually live with. One thing that I did want to point out as well is because I am using this, uh, this microphone on top and I'm able to see it actually in my shots with the normal lens, using the wide angle lens like I'm currently doing is completely out of the question you're just gonna see the, practically the whole microphone. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to do about that. That part's gonna be a major, major fail for this product. Now, another nice thing about having this kit is that it has this mini tripod that we can use to set down on like a picnic table, like I'm doing right now. And this allows me to be hands-free. So if I would just wanna sit down and have a conversation with my camera or my audience and talk like this, it allows me to be hands-free like this. Now also because I have this light on here, if I'm under a tree like I am right now and I wanna give myself an extra little pop, I can just simply come over and turn the light on and get that going. And then there we go. It gives me just a little bit of a pop on there. And if I wanna take off the, uh, the diffuser, I can take that off and make it just a little bit brighter so that I get that nice pop on me. Now, it's not the brightest light in the world, but if it's dark outside, it's gonna be more than enough to fill in and, and illuminate you and your subject. Now, if you're in the daytime and you're looking for just a little bit of a feel light, it's enough to just give you a little bit of highlights in your eyes, but it's not really gonna brighten you up too much. So I did wanna give you a sample of what this sounds like using the included microphone with the US Key Vision uh, V-Master kit and what this sounds like with just the iPhone's built-in microphone. So I'm using right now the built-in mini shotgun mic of the V-Master kit. I'm gonna go ahead and do another clip without it and just use the built-in iPhone microphone so you can get an idea of what the two sound like in comparison. Okay, so I went ahead and unplugged the microphone. So right now what you are hearing are the mics of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. 
And so these are my built-in microphones of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and that, yeah, this is what you can expect. So, you know, you can decide which one you think is best, either the built-in mics or the uh, shotgun mic from the V-Master kit. I will say that the iPhones have pretty good microphones as is, so even if you decided that you were comfortable with the microphones that come built into your phone, that having all of the extra kit as far as the phone mount, the mini tripod, the goose arm and the light, all of that makes for a really nice vlog kit that you can utilize even if you find that the shotgun microphone is not for you. Okay everyone, so there we have it. That is a quick look at the US Key Vision. V Master vlog kit. This is a smartphone microphone vlog kit and I think it's pretty good. So uh, anyways, this is uh, using it right now and let's uh, let's go back into the house and wrap this thing up because well, I'm done. All right, everyone. So there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the US Key Vision V Master smartphone microphone vlog kit. And I have to say, it's a pretty nice vlog kit. I really like the mini tripod and the ball head and the, the phone mount. I like the goose arm with the light. I like a lot about it. What I do not like is that the microphone with the furry dead cat gets in my frame, even when I'm filming at just the normal lens. Once I go to the wide angle lens, it's pretty much completely useless. I mean, it's useless with the, with the, the regular lens also because the furry dead cat is still in there and I haven't really found a way to fix that. I've tried adjusting the angles a little bit, but you cannot make this microphone sit up a little bit because there's no mounts on there to uh, sort of cinch up the cable so that you can pull the microphone back a little bit. So yeah, it's just, uh, that part's a bit frustrating. The light, I like that they include the light. I think this light is great if you're indoors or if it's dark outside. It's not bright enough to really give you a lot of feel if you're outside and it's light. Sometimes you have lights that are really bright that'll give you just a little bit of pop on your face. It'll give you a little bit of glint in your eye. Um, this light's not really bright enough to do that, but it'll give you a little bit, just not a lot. So think of this as more of it's getting dark or I'm inside and I wanna give myself some feel light for that. So yeah, otherwise, you know, even shooting with the phone and just the regular, just sort of like I, I would call just the, the skeleton of the rig where you have just the phone mount, the mini tripod, the ball head, all that stuff. I think that works really, really nicely. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to this product down below in the video description so you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.